three C's of Belford Advertising. Creativity, commitment, confidence. Is it confidence? No. Confidence. In five years, I would love to see myself a senior vice president of marketing. That is my dream. Hey, go running! Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Auntie Penny, would you please hold your niece for just a moment? Oh, what? Thank you. Okay. Thank um, you. Morning. 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 Could you? I just, huh? I just don't want to mess up my suit. Yeah. You got in late last night. I was exhausted. I got some great shots. Bighorn sheep, bobcats. So you you got what you needed? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't have to go anywhere till after the new year. I promise. Hey, Taylor. Good morning, hey. sunshine. Hey, doesn't Auntie Penny look nice today? Beautiful. Thank you, Taylor. That's because Auntie Penny has a very important job interview for her work. Yes. For her promotion. I don't think she knows what promotion means, hon. Have a cookie. <laughs> oh, Brian and I are going to pick up the tree today, huh? I know it's our thing, but Chad and Taylor were asking. I've been traveling, and you have your interview today. Or we, we, we can, can do go it later, Pen. Yeah. No, no, it's two weeks till Christmas. We should get a tree, right? You sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, I forgot to tell you, my, my parents are coming over tonight. I know. Really? I'm sorry, hon. They called when I was boarding the airplane. This stupid coffee maker always... Hey, breathe. I don't have time to breathe. Hey, you're gonna get the promotion. You're the most talented person I know, and I am not just saying that because I'm your good sister. Thanks, Nick. Fourth time the charm. Is yes. that what they say? Something like yeah. that. Yeah, Stuart. Okay. Oh. Can you please do that later? Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 whoa, whoa, Mr. Mr. Brian, could you please get that hey, from him? Penny, would you mind? Yeah. Chad. <laughs> Hi. Here. You want some? You don't want any? Okay. Oh, thanks. Good luck. I gotta go. I'm late. Sorry, I'm late. I was in the wrong room. <laughs> you ever considered a plastic tree? <laughs> nope. Why not? It's clean, packs up in a little box. The kids are happy and there's no mess. How many things can you say that about? It's got to be real for me. And it has to be a Douglas fir. It's the one. You gonna answer that phone or what? Yeah, it's Jack from the Anchorage Wildlife Center. I don't care if it's Jack Frost. Either answer the phone or pick up the tree. Hey, Jack. They did not even crack a smile. 
I am not getting this promotion. Oh, Pen, you don't know that. First of all, I was late. I am so sorry about baby Sarah and the carrots this morning. It's fine. It's not going to be for much longer. The house is almost ready. I like having you guys there. Stu's been traveling so much lately to finish his wildlife book, and I feel like I'm alone half the year. It's really nice having family around. Looks like Santa's really busy today. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Lots of Christmas wishes. <laughs> Look, I know how important this book is. It's his dream. Yeah, and you're his biggest fan. Absolutely. It's why I took the job at the agency so I could help support us so we could go do it. But I am struggling. Three years into this job and not once has even the security guard said hello to me. I mean, just look at that. Gillingham. There's, there's just no charm, no hook or creativity. See, if I had that account, I bet you I could sell a million artificial trees for Gillingham's. I'll bet you could. Another trip? I mean, you, you just got back last night? Yeah, I know, but can you afford it? No. But if I get these reindeer shots in Alaska, my book is finally done. I can start getting it out there. This could be huge for us. <sighs> these trips were so much easier when Penny and I took them together. And more fun. Yeah, she was brilliant at marketing your stuff. Yeah, she was great. We decided she would take this advertising job. Yeah, so you could finish your book. Yeah. Yeah, and I have to finish it. Look, somebody had to be the breadwinner. We made a great team. How am I going to tell her? How is up to you. But I would do it as soon as possible. Like, now. Nick, have you ever thought about how different your life would be if you made other choices? We all have those thoughts every once in a while, right? Uh, I suppose, but... I can't imagine my life without Brian and the kids. But you know what I mean, just the paths we take and what might have been. Oh. Hey, Stu, everything okay? Well, no, it's just, um, something came up. Uh, Jack from the Wildlife Center up in Alaska just called. The, uh, the reindeer started the migration. You promised me. I know, I know, but but I have to get up there if there's any chance of photographing him for my book. Just, when do you have to leave? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? I know, I know, I know, but it's now or never. Look, I should be back before Christmas. Oh, it should be. Well, I mean... Okay, I just, you know what, I, I have to go. I'm at the mall with Nikki and the kids. I'll, I'll just see you at the house. Okay. Bye. Another trip? Can you even believe that? I mean, he just got back yesterday. Well, can't you just ask him not to go? It's a lose-lose. If he doesn't go, then I feel terrible for holding him back and him not finishing his book. And then if he does go, then I don't get my husband until Christmas and he may even miss it. It just, it makes me crazy. Sometimes I just wish I'd never gotten married. That's weird. Yeah. Ooh, must be a storm out there. I was hoping for some snow, but be careful what you wish for. <laughs> hmm. Sure is a beauty this year, son. Thanks, Dad. Trees where Christmas begins. Yeah, the angel chat? Oh, yeah, wow. Now we'll do it? Well, it's, um, it's a tradition in this house that Auntie Penny puts the angel on the tree. Why? <laughs> well, Chad, um, did I ever tell you that your Auntie Penny and I met each other at the old Christmas tree lot? No. We were both buying trees. Douglas firs. And I looked over, and there she was. And we've been buying Douglas furs together every year since. Well, except, except this Christmas. 
This Christmas is different. This Christmas was a bit of a challenge for traditions. Here you go, Auntie oh, Thank you, Chad. Okay, are we ready? Ready? One, two, three! Careful, Penny! Careful, Penny! people. Bueno? Hello? Can I talk? Um, yes, can I, can I please talk to Stuart? No, señora, tiene el número equivocado. Hello? 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 Um, Miss Atwell? Yes? Are you on your way? I can't stall for much longer. What? Everyone's waiting. Waiting for what? Who, who is ever- presentation. Miss Atwell, we really don't have time for this. I have a presentation? Please, just come to work. Good morning, Miss Atwell. Good morning. There's... 
someone parked in my spot, so I left my car in the loading dock. I'll have it taken care of right away, Miss Atwell. Thank you. Uh, it's a... a Jaguar. Of course, Miss Atwell. cubicles and us. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll clean it right away. Do I know you? I'm Arden Maxwell. Intern. There you are. Should we go? We should go. So, um, what's this presentation? Very funny. <laughs> Is that what you're wearing? I always wear this for work. Miss Atwell? Coming into your office? roast in a white mug. Any questions? What day is it? December 13th. And you are? My name is Paula. Paula. And you know me? Yes. I know you. I'm your personal assistant. You're Penny Atwell, Senior Vice President of Marketing. Okay. Are you feeling okay? You look as white as a sheet and not in a good way. Y bueno. I've got to go now. With the presentation. Family emergency. You know what I'm talking about? I've been here almost a year, and this morning she acts like she doesn't even know me. <laughs> doesn't surprise me. Well, they don't call her the Barracuda for nothing. A little bit tight, so maybe we go up to probably the maybe half size, because at least we can fit it. Oh. Here. There you are. Hey, what are you doing here? I need to talk to you. Okay, I'm just with a customer right now. Right, like, please? Okay, yep. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my sister. She comes down here. So, yep, yeah, must be important. Uh, just give us one quick sec. Thank you. Sure. Over here. <sighs> What's going on? I am having the craziest day of my life. Okay, well, just calm down. Okay. Breathe. Just tell me about it. So, first, I wake up and Stu is gone. And then I think, well, maybe he went to Alaska, but there's. There's no sign of him at all in the house. It's, it's like he doesn't even exist, Nick. And then I try to call him. Okay, could, and you, could you just stop for one second? Who is Stu? Stu, my husband, Stu. <laughs> Your husband? What are you talking about, Penn? You're not even married. Of course I am married, Nick. You were the maid of honor at my wedding. Yeah. My ring, it must have... So she slipped off. Oh. <clears throat> Penny? Oh. Penny, you are embarrassing me. Just, you know what? Call Brian. I'm sure he'll know. I couldn't find his number in my book. Who's, who's Brian? What? Your husband. I don't have a husband. Okay, Penn, what is going on with you? No, 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 no,
Your kids? What about your kids? My kids? I gotta go. Penny? Okay, Penny. Penny! Well, hello, Penny. How did you know my name? Oh, I know many things about you, dear. Oh, well, sister and Brian met because you and Stuart introduced them, right? So, if you never met Stuart in this world, then Nikki never met Brian. Oh, I'm starting to get a headache. Oh, I think I might have something for that. No, 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 you, you got to cancel the wish. There's no going back now, honey bunch. This is your world. You're wealthy, single, successful. Enjoy yourself. Is that well? Is everything all right? Yeah, can you can you come in, Paula? I have to tell you something. Um This is going to be difficult to understand. I can try. I think I'm living in a twilight zone. You know, like an alternate reality where everything is just turned upside down. That's not what I thought you were going to say. I mean, a wish. Oh, and it came true. I wish that I was never married. I didn't mean it. I just said it. But you're not married. But I... I was. For six years. You never told me that. Well, now you know. And he is gone. And I don't know what to do. <sighs> Permission to speak freely? Please. Ms. Atwell, I'm the only personal assistant you've ever had, and I've never known you to admit that you don't know what to do. I've never admitted that. Never. You're the Barracuda. Barracuda. Cold-blooded, ferocious. You're the envy of everyone who works at this company. Now, I don't know this ex of yours, I've never met the man, but I say, cut the shackles of your past, embrace your new freedom. At some point, you have to turn the page. Turn the page. That's what you told me when Warren and I broke up. <sighs> I did? You said it was going to be one of the best things that's ever happened to me. And it was. You told me it would give me very much needed me time. You even did the air quotes. Me time. Repeat after me. I have a new life. I have a new life? Not a question. I have a new life. I will seize the day. I will seize the day. Here you go. You got it. Old Penny is gone and new shiny Penny is about to emerge. Thank you. I feel a bit better. Only a bit? You know what always makes me feel better? What's that? Good morning, Miss Atwell. Good morning, Paula. Nine days till Christmas and it's finally starting to look like it. Merry Christmas. Here you go. Can't have Christmas without candy canes. Yeah, we, 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 we love candy canes, is that well? Right, guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're refreshing. Great! <laughs> candy canes! Just go with Merry it. Christmas! Merry Christmas, guys! Don't forget you have Gillingham at 9. The department store Gillingham's? Andrew Gillingham, meet and greet? He wants to rebrand. The notes are in your office. Hey, how do you feel about an ugly Christmas sweater day for the entire office? Seriously? Avery. I'm not bothering you, am I? No, I have Gillingham at nine. Christmas orange, nice. Yeah, I, uh, I find them comforting this time of year. <laughs> Relaxes me. Are you stressed out? Uh, this Gillingham account, I, uh, I really hope he goes with us. I do too. 
Yeah, I gave this account to you, Penny, because, well, no one can sell this agency better than you can. Thank you. This could be huge for us, Penny. Avery, relax. Enjoy your Clementine. I'm the Barracuda, remember? He is putty in my hands. Mr. Gillingham. Penny Atwell. Andrew Gillingham. Pleasure. I'm a pleasure, too. I mean, I mean, my pleasure. The pleasure's all mine. Shall we sit down? Sure. No, after you. No, no, after you. No, after you. <laughs> I like your name, Penny. Is it short for Penelope? Just Penny. Like the coin. Okay. Penny like the coin? I'll make a wish. What? You know, like pennies in a fountain for good luck. Oh, right. <laughs> right. So, you're here to rebrand. That is the plan. You inherited Gillingham's, a family department store. I did, but contrary to popular belief, I work very hard. I have no doubt, Mr. Gillingham. Please, Andrew. Andrew. Since you took over the company, sales have been trending downward, unfortunately. I see a few reasons. Can I be frank? The model for Gillingham's has become a dinosaur. Extinct, dated. No, I get it. Gillingham's not only lacks an identity in a very overcrowded marketplace, it lacks a strong online presence, and the internet is where it's at. So you can continue to be a department store who has a malt shop in the basement and sells self-cleaning ovens, or you can expand your customer base by offering them a state-of-the-art, integrative online shopping experience. Have you ever thought of a Gillingham's app? Tell me more. It's time, Andrew. A new Gillingham's for a new generation. Seize the day. <laughs> I'm very impressed, Penny, like the coin. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, before deciding to sign with us... Sold. Let me tell you a little about it. I do not need to think about it. I'll sign. You had me at basement malt shops and self-cleaning ovens. <laughs> Great, thank you. I don't know what you said in there, Penny, but well done. <laughs> Let me show you our studio. Feeling a little flush? It's been a long week. TGIF, Ms. Atwell. Well, lucky me, I get to go home to an empty house. Mood Indigo, 8.30. Francis broke up with Rupert. Again. I know, right? Okay, see you tonight. Paula. Yes? Who is that? Julie Rydell, finance. I know her. Friday night is your night with the girls. Usually on Friday nights, too, and I stay in and watch a movie. It's a whole new world.
not to lie, you could. You knew it was coming. <laughs> You know, honey, I must admit I've never seen you like this. No. What do you mean? What do you, you're just you're... like a different person. Well, maybe it's the holiday spirit. That's it. It's the uh, holiday spirit. I like yeah. that. <laughs> the usual, Miss Altwell. Oh. The usual. Thank you. You should try these things to die for. Oh. Is that Susan? Do you think? I've been staring at her. I don't know. I should change her. She needed to She would love those. Stew. Stew. Who's Stew? A friend. It's news to me. And speaking of news... Okay, yes, we, we've been dying to know what is Andrew Gillingham really like. Seriously, details, please. Mm. He's a successful, good-looking man. Charming. Don't know that's an understatement. Okay, what about most eligible bachelor in town? Penny, come on, more. I'm married. <laughs> to my work. Mm. Right. Yeah. And besides, he's a client. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh-huh. Keep me company. So, have you ladies done your Christmas shopping yet? Oh, no, I'm oh, so behind. No, I never have enough time at Christmas. Thanks for bringing that. I know, I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's like, if, it's like if somebody could just bottle spare time and sell it, they'd make a fortune, I swear. You bottle it and then tuck it back in the closet when you don't need it anymore. Exactly. Make spare time for the woman on the go. Put it under the tree, give it to everyone you know. Like, better than shoes. Way better. Appreciate you meeting me here, Penny. You sounded urgent. When I get a flash of inspiration, I like to share it right away. This is Gillingham's as we have known it for the last 60 years. We not only want to transform Gillingham's, but we want to transform the way people shop, the way they think. And we want to do it at the busiest time of year, Christmas. It's certainly busy for us. Andrew, what comes to mind when you think of Christmas? Christmas trees? Mistletoe and garland. <laughs> Lights and decorations. Shortbread. Well, what if I told you that you can get all of those things at the highest quality and one single purchase? I'd say that would be a huge time saver. Precisely. Two words. Instant Christmas. Today's families are always on the go. Life moves fast. Holidays even faster. No one has time anymore. So we want to offer you everything you could possibly need for Christmas in one single box Christmas in a box Gillingham's is the home of the one-stop Christmas shop in store or online get it at Gillingham's the Christmas tree the mistletoe the garland the wrapping paper even Christmas baking is included Gillingham's famous shortbread we don't sell shortbread you will what kind of tree is this fiber optic it's the most cutting-edge modern tree for the 21st century family. Our research shows that 50% of American households prefer artificial trees to the real thing. We believe, if positioned cleverly, we can increase our share of that market. I love it, but it's eight days till Christmas. There's no time to get No, this. of course not. This is all for next year's season. But I would like to put out a teaser on all social media platforms on Christmas Day. From Gillingham's, it says, we are here. We're rebranding, we have a surprise for you, and we will see you in the new year. When these are done well, they can go viral in an instant and generate more hashtag traffic than rush hour on the I-90. <laughs> oh, translation, a lot of people are going to see this promotion in a very cost-effective and media-savvy way. Brilliant. <laughs> this is cause for celebration. Dinner at Amici's. Perfect. 
I have no plans. I mean, I hear it's nice. Have a good time. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any for your thoughts? <laughs> oh. I must confess, Andrew, that I've never eaten food like that before. <laughs> Chef's a friend. Very talented. Yeah, that Alaskan salmon was incredible. It was a beautiful dinner. All around. You know, Alaska is, is a beautiful place. I've actually been there a couple of times with my... Um, it's, it's just stunning. The wildlife, landscape. Do you know there's eight national parks in Alaska? I love Alaska. <sighs> it has some of the largest oil fields in North America. Did you know that? I've met some great businessmen from up there, and we have made a lot of money together. Oh, I see. Well, um, this is me. I had a wonderful night. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much for dinner. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, oh. how lovely are thy branches. This is my favorite Christmas carol. Mine too. Hmm? Isn't it funny? All our talk about trees and instant Christmas. It's like they knew the exact song to sing. Somebody's trying to tell us something, Penny. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Hmm. How lovely are thy branches. I'm really glad we're on the same page with the campaign. We make a good team. Andrew, what are you doing? <laughs> Too soon? No, I mean, yes. Is it me? No, you are, you're great. You have the whole checklist. It's just, you're a client. You're right, but I shouldn't have crossed the line. We just have to be... Professional. I understand. I'm married. You're married? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, I was and now I'm not. And it's just... It's just, complicated? It's complicated. I understand. Boundary's very clear, Penny. I'm the client. Thank you. And you still have feelings for your ex-husband. I completely understand. In my experience, ex-husbands can be tricky. You never know when they're going to pop up. They can be, what's the word? Challenge. Well, I still had a wonderful evening. Thank you. As did I. Penny like the coin. <laughs> Challenges. No. Pardon me. No problem. Carl, it looks amazing. Thank you. Just a little to the left. Yeah, that looks great. Ms. Atwell, I need to speak with you. Yeah. The photographer just canceled. Canceled? He had to go to Singapore. I don't know all the details. Okay. Okay. We can fix this. I don't see how. Logan was the best. Six days till Christmas, I called all the other agencies and no one's available on such short notice. We need someone with an eye. Keen visual style. Great interpersonal skills. Do you know a photographer like that?
The door was open. Yes, right over there on the table. I'm sorry? The package? I made some changes. I'm sure she'll be really happy with them. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not actually here for that. Oh, what are you here for? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm on a bit of a deadline here. Hmm. Oh, he's a hard worker. Excuse me? No, I was just talking to myself. Well, miss, if, uh, <laughs> if I can do anything. That's funny? <clears throat> you just call me miss. What am I supposed to call you? You don't know me? Um, am I supposed to? No. No, we've never met. No, I'm, I'm Penny Atwell, Senior VP of Marketing at Belford Advertising. Uh, Stuart Fisher, President and CEO of Stuart Fisher Photography. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm also Vice President and Secretary. I can see that. I'm sorry, but is there something... I'm here to offer you a job. No, thank you. Great. Wait, did, did you just say no thank you? You work for Belford. Pretty high-end advertising firm. <laughs> but I cannot take another corporate gig right now. Well, why not? You, you have to. <laughs> Mrs. Atwell. Miss... Miss, Miss Atwell, I don't have to do anything. My plate is really full right now, and no offense, but I'm just tired of these corporate gigs. It's not what I want to be doing. I know, I know, but... I appreciate you coming here, but I do have to get back to these photos. Stu, I need the best. And that's you. What makes you say that? Well, let's just say... I'm a fan. <laughs> the photo shoot, um, it's a national campaign, and if you change your mind, you know where to find me. <laughs> I love that photo. I'm excited about this. Me too. It looks very... festive. <laughs> Thank you. And we have a top-notch photographer. Stuart? Yes, Andrew? I can't quite make out the fiber optic trees in the background. They're out of focus. Oh yeah, that's, that's intentional. Intentional? Yeah, I'm using this lens of the widest f-stop to reduce the depth of field. So the focus of the image is the mysterious box with the new logo. Why are we advertising these trees if we can't see them? Well, you get a sense of them. It's, you know, a teaser. It's part of the mystery. I'm not paying for mystery. He's micromanaging again. What are you waiting for? Get in there. But how do you I... You tell me you're the senior VP of marketing. The first C of Belford Advertising. Creativity. I thought it was commitment. I can certainly keep everything in focus if you prefer. Uh, but the eye will wander. And this way we're 
telling the viewers, look over here. This is what we want you to see. The new Gillinghams. With the suggestion of something in the background. Right. A bit of a mystery. Wet the consumer's appetite. Don't give away everything. That's just a teaser. What's in the box? We'll find out next year. You know what? Why don't you take a look in the monitor? Yeah. Let us know what you think. What do you think? Mm, looks great for the teaser. Andrew. Sure. Sounds good to me. Great. Let's do it. Good job. Thank you. Great day. Oh, hey, Miss Atwell. I didn't realize you were still here. Workaholic. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll second that. One more day and we're all done. Yeah, I guess so. Do you need help with that? No, no, no. I'm okay. You know what? Four hands are better than two. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my studio is just a couple blocks away. I like to walk everywhere I can. I know. I mean, me too. Reminds me of the old Christmas tree lot on Christmas Eve. Oh yeah, where they do the uh, the big nutcracker display. Yeah. And they take all the trees. Decorate and... all the trees that they haven't sold. Yeah. I go every year. It's a Christmas Eve tradition. Me too. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll see you there. It's in four days. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise you know this is a Douglas fir. You really know your trees. Um, I had a friend once who uh, knew a lot about him. It's good to have friends that remind us of the little things that make us feel happy. Mm. So often they're right in front of us. That's what I love about my nature photography. One, please, Charlie. Thanks. Whenever I'm out there in Alaska or Georgia or wherever, and I capture that moment of Kodiak catches her first salmon or falcon feeds her nestlings. It's nothing like it. Sounds wonderful. Why don't you do more of that? I'd love to. It's just not practical. Birds and rock formations don't pay bills. Well, I say listen to your hearts, too. When you stop listening, it stops making noise. What? Is that funny? <laughs> it's just no one else calls me Stu. Just you. Oh, well, I, I don't have to. No, no, I don't. I, I don't mind. I, uh, I should really get going. Um, oh, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have some work I have to do. And, um, please. Um, okay, is please. everything okay? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Just thank you so much. Yeah. Have a great night, okay? So she comes in and she asks for a gemstone Christmas present. So I'm thinking birthstone, December birthstone. That's turquoise and zircon and tanzanite. But those are all blue. So then I'm thinking something red and green. Christmas colors, right? Penny, are you even listening to me? I'm sorry. Did you hear any of that? No. Where are you? <laughs> You've been like that since you got I here. I know. What's going on? Okay, spill it. <sighs> Okay, the photo shoot went really well. That's great. And? And I met a man. Penny, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So tell me more. He's the photographer. Hmm. It's not really like you to get involved in office of romance. Mm. We went for a walk together. It was really nice. And then all of a sudden, 
he got distant. And I don't know if it's something that I said or did, or if I'm just really out of practice with this stuff. Well, maybe, maybe he could sense the attraction and he just really wanted to keep it professional. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Speaking from experience, huh, Nick? Me? Mm-hmm. No. Come on, it's your turn to spill it. Nothing to spill. Yeah, right. Hey, what do you want me to say? I've got suitors and prospects and a man who serenades me under my terrace? Come on, Penny. You're the dreamer. I am a realist. And? And I just haven't met the right guy, I guess. And I don't really know that I ever will. I'm not so sure about that, Nick. Hmm. <laughs> I see a handsome man in your future. <laughs> I see a snowman. <laughs> Enough about that. I want to hear more about your <laughs> photographer. <laughs> Hello, Penny. Hey, you again. <laughs> I got your present. Oh, I know this has been a challenging time for you, and it is five days before Christmas, so it's the least I could do. You shouldn't have, but thank you. Why do people do that? I mean, what's up with that Christmas tradition? What tradition? Shaking the present. You know, shaking the present here, shaking the present there. Shake, shake, shake. It's chocolates. I can tell it's chocolates. I'm not pleased with you, Penny. Well, I can't help it. I'm a good guesser. No, Penny. Truth be told, the boss is a little ticked off with me, too. What boss? You know. Why? You ruined the wish. Stop doing that. It freaks me out. Did you hear what I said? You ruined the wish. How did... How? By seeking him out. You were supposed to live your life without Stuart. I did that for a little bit, and it was okay. But I missed Stu, and now he's back. This was not part of the wish. And now, thanks to you, I have to fix the mess you made. How is this a mess? I'm getting to know my husband all over again. And maybe, just maybe getting a second chance to fall in love with him. How often does that happen in a lifetime? I gave you the gift of a Christmas wish. Don't shake it so much. Tomorrow to look at the shots. Yeah? Great. These are wonderful images, Stu. Thanks. Gillian is gonna love them. I mean, look at these. You created mystery from fiber optics. It's magical. We are going to sell a million trees. Well, it's hard to mess up with such great Stop lenses. Stop it. You're always so modest. Always? Always. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how'd that get in there? When did you take that? You know what? Tomorrow I think we should really go to town in the secret of the Christmas in a box. That's why I'm ordering those macro lenses, so we can really emphasize the mystery. What about using your fog machine to create a dreamy, wintry atmosphere? It's a great idea. Yeah. Have we worked together before? <laughs> <laughs> This shortbread is amazing. Mm. Oh, that's my sister. 
She's always been the Christmas baker, Christmas cookies, Christmas shortbread, Christmas fruitcake, which you don't like. How do you know I don't like Christmas fruitcake? Who does? <laughs> These are really pretty, Stu. Thanks. They're more than pretty. They tell a story. This is what I was talking about last night, following your passions. You have a real gift. <sighs> I really love this picture. Right, that's, right? That's one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever thought about publishing a book? How did you know? It's a dream of mine to publish a book on wildlife photography. Can I be honest? Yeah, please. What if I told you that I'm not who you think I am? I'm not Penny Adwell, senior VP of marketing. I'm not even an executive. I'm just an insecure copywriter with big dreams. I woke up one day in this new world, <laughs> successful with a corner office, an assistant, and a fancy car. And I don't know how I got here. And I can't find my way back to my old life. I know exactly what you mean. You do? Yeah, I ask myself all the time, how did I end up here? And the paths we take, sometimes I wonder if my life would be different if I had made other choices. I mean, we all feel like frauds on some level, right? Imposters. Like, we're not good enough. We just keep pretending. Sorry, I have to get this. This is the lenses for tomorrow. It's no, a special it's okay. Order. I, I gotta go. I gotta go to the office. Um, I, uh, I'll see you at the shoot tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Hello. Penny, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Um, we are waiting on some lenses, which should be here any minute, and I can assure you it'll be well worth the wait. I hope so. I don't like paying people to sit around. Yeah. Hey. Any updates? Yeah. He's on route. Thank goodness. Hey. Yeah. You're doing a great job, Penny. I think all you have to do is... Breathe. What I need is to keep breathing. <sighs> okay, I did that. Okay, now smile. Right. Smile and breathe. Breathe and smile. Hey, anyone order a case of Coke Macro lenses? Oh, finally. I'm so sorry, man. I had to call in a few favors. So Brian! Brian! It's you! <laughs> Here. Oh my gosh! Uh, it is so good to see you. Oh. Um, it's great to see you too. She's so excited about her work, isn't she? Uh, uh, <laughs> man, I should be late more often. <laughs> uh, Penny, this is Brian. Brian owns the best the... little camera store on the east side. Everyone knows that. <laughs> they they do? do. Hey, everyone! Can I have your attention, please? Gather round. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> I'm wearing an ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> Seeing that everyone missed the memo today that it was ugly Christmas sweater day. <laughs> That's fine. I'm over it. But a memo you don't want to miss is our annual Christmas party tomorrow, December 23rd. And back by popular demand is our raffle. And this year, with the suggestion of Miss Atwell, all the funds raised will be donated to the Christmas Charity Foundation. And can we please show some appreciation to Paula, who wins the prize for the most beautiful, ugly Christmas sweater I've ever seen. <laughs>
Yeah. This should be quite the shindig, Andrew. I hope you can make it. I guess I should go. Yeah. Wouldn't miss it for the world. single men here. Hmm. <laughs> Is that lobster? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> Penny, Penny. Oh, hi, Avery. Congratulations, the Tisa looks fantastic. And you're seeing half your clients. Thank you. The way you worked with Andrew. I mean, he told me of all his input. I'm really impressed with how you listen to his ideas and realize them, of course. So smile. Enjoy the holidays as you should. Merry instant Christmas. Merry Christmas. Instant Christmas. It's brilliant. How did you come up with it? I just thought of it. Instantly. <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Ms. Atwell. Paula. Oh, you look amazing. Well, thank you. I'm selling tickets for the Christmas raffle. How many would you like? Put me down for $100 worth. All righty, then. I recommend the Christmas in the Caribbean prize. It's the perfect romantic getaway for two. advertisers do Christmas. Very nice. Do you have room in your purse for this? I'm serious. <laughs> oh, God. This is my sister, Nikki. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for the invite, Penny. So glad you're here. Brian, this is my sister, Nikki. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Is that lobster? Yeah, it is. Would you like to go and get some? I'd love to. Okay. Interesting. Match made in heaven. <laughs> or in Maine. <laughs> I, um... I wanted to follow up on what we were talking about the other night. Okay. I've been meaning to tell you something. I have been wanting to tell you so much. Meeting you has been wonderful and unexpected. In the last few days, I've, I've felt inexplicably drawn to you. Not completely inexplicable, I hope. What I mean is, I don't know how I'm going to say this, so I'm just going to say it, but I'm getting... Stuart. Sorry I'm late. You look so handsome tonight. <laughs> uh, Lily, 
This is, is Penny Atwell. The fake tree lady. I've heard so much about you. I just love artificial trees. Mm. Lily is my fiance. Nice to meet you, Penny. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, um... Stu has done a terrific job for us this week. See, Stuart? You should be doing more corporate photography. You're good at it. That would be so impressed. Lily is a cruise director. She just got back from two months in the Gulf of Mexico. Ole. <laughs> but Stuart loves to travel for work too, right? I wouldn't call that work. Let's face it, birds and rock formations don't pay bills. Well, I say follow your heart. Excuse me. Stuart has a fiance. And? She seems nice. She is. He's your ex-husband, isn't he? It all makes sense now. No wonder you have feelings for her. Oh, this is good. This is priceless, Penny. I told you exes were tricky. If you'll excuse me, I want to be by myself. Well, if you ever want to talk... something you don't know about me okay I used to be a very different person I didn't know what I had and how much I loved it and that's gone now okay uh, it's okay I'm sorry a date? What? Yeah. Now? Yeah. Like Christmas Eve? Yes. But you know, I don't have to go. No, 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 no. This is this is great. Is it Brian? Yes. <laughs> I, oh, I've just never met anyone like him. And I have you to thank for that. I mean, it's like we had this instant connection and I just feel like I've known him for your whole life. Yeah. Okay, so, so happy for you. Okay, uh, but we can talk about all of this stuff tomorrow. Absolutely. And we are going to have a great day. Oh. <gasps> have a good oh. night. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I will tell you all about it. Yeah. Have fun. isn't it? I mean, for something that isn't real. You got some nerve. I tried to warn you. Well, you know what? I am done with this wish. You can take it back. It's not that easy. You don't just snap your fingers. Well, what do you mean it's not that easy? You granted me a wish, and now you can... Take it back. Have you ever tried returning something, Penny? You have to stand in line. You have to have the original packaging, the receipt. I am the original packaging. I am the receipt. I want my old life back. My old job. My messy house. I miss Stu. Oh, I miss Stu, so please. Can you tell me 
how to get back to him. I'm sorry, honey, but the boss says maybe another time. Then I guess I'm just gonna have to tell him the truth. About what? About this, about the wish. Everything. I know exactly where to find him. You can try, but he's not going to believe you. Watch me. So excited to see this famous nutcracker display. Yeah. It's right up there. Douglas fir. You and your trees. It's cute. It doesn't belong there. Is, is everything okay? Did the footage turn out? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's great. I mean, I don't know if I want to be involved in a campaign anymore, but... Why? It's instant Christmas. <laughs> it's just not real. Christmas isn't something you can take out of a box and put away in a closet. It's more than decorations and trees and cookies. It's the spirit. It's tradition. Being with people you love. You can't put that in a box. I think you might be right. <laughs> Listen, Stu, I... <laughs> you go. No, you go. About the party, I really wanted to tell you, but I was just I was so confused. I know. I know this is going to sound strange, but when I first met you, when you first came to the studio, I felt like somehow I, I've known you. Like, like I've, I've always known you. It's crazy, right? Not at all. It's like, it's like deja vu. Come on, Stuart! Do you love her? She has a good heart. And you're gonna marry her. you are. I wouldn't expect anything less. It's what I love about you. No, it's I'm okay. So, no, sorry. no, please I'm... don't be sorry. You're following your heart. And can you just promise me something? Yeah. If I never see you again, Found this. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Maybe for another time. Another place. Yes. Another time.
got you. Penny. Penny. Hey. Penny. You fell. <laughs> you okay? No. work. I got the promotion. Happy <laughs> <laughs> for you, babe. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to take it. What? Well, you're going to Alaska tomorrow, right? Yeah. I thought I'd come with you. You got to finish your book. And you need full-time management to put together your book tour, market the book, both here and Overseas. Do you know who could do that kind of job? I do, Auntie Penny. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh. Oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> what was the change of heart? My real Christmas wish came true. What was that? <laughs> 